What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie. I'm gonna be real honest with you. I'm not feeling too hot today, but that's not gonna stop me from bringing you a delicious new tea and the Sailor 1911 White. So I don't know where you guys live, but right now today, oh yeah, don't I look sexy? Uh, right now today it is snowstorming out and tomorrow we're supposed to have ice storms. <sighs> Winter is just killing us in February, you guys. It's just killing me. But I do have a lovely warm cup of tea that I will be enjoying today to help keep me warm. And that is this delicious blend right here. Uh, so this is Harney and Sons uh, Paris is what it's called. Um, I bought this from Chapters um, or Indigo, depending on which um, location you're at. Um, I bought it during the Boxing Day sales. So I think ordinarily this tin, which has... Uh, 20 sachets or 20 bags, um, which equals about 40 grams of tea, is ordinarily $10. Um, to me, that's a little bit pricey um, because normally when you buy loose leaf tea, you get about 50 grams um, worth of tea and you normally pay uh, anywhere between like seven and $9. Um, so it's a little bit pricey, but um, I did buy it on sale, so I actually bought this for $5, which is good in my opinion. Um, although I must say, after having tasted it, I would probably pay a full price for it. I would pay 10 bucks probably to get this again, because I really, really enjoy it. Um, it just says Paris-style black tea, naturally flavored. Uh, the ingredients are black tea, natural flavors. That's literally all it says it's in here. Um, to me, because it doesn't actually fully tell me what's in it, it tastes kind of like a, if you took like a base of an Earl Grey um, and then you added in a little bit of a, a fruity vanilla undertone, um, that's kind of what it, it tastes like to me. Um, I really, really enjoy it. Um, the bags are basically these triangles. Um, and you notice like there's loads and loads of room in the bag. Um, and that is so that when you're steeping the tea, if I can grab a hold of this thing. When you're steeping the tea, uh, the leaves have plenty of room to expand, um, which I really, really like. Um, and of course, the tag there. Um, the only thing I don't like about the actual bag is I do wish the string was a little bit longer, um, mostly because the mugs that I use are oversized. So when I have the bag in the tea, in the um, mug rather, um, not much of the tag hangs over, which isn't a big deal or anything. It just means that when I'm pouring in the hot water, I have to be sure to hold on to the other end. Um, otherwise the whole thing will get pulled into my uh, mug. Um, and then in the tin is just the rest there. Um, so really, really delicious. I highly, highly recommend it. Um, it is definitely quickly becoming one of my all time favorites. Um, so if you like the sound of a, an Earl Grey type with a bit more fruity vanilla undertone, definitely, definitely pick that out. Because it's really good. Something else that's also really good is this. This is the Sailor 1911 Large uh, in the white finish. Um, I bought this from Pen Chalet. Um, online and ordinarily in US dollars they have this listed at $248. Um, I also bought this during their Boxing Day sale so I'm not exactly sure what I paid for it. I'm pretty sure I either had 15 or 20 percent off something like that um, and free shipping. Um, so I didn't pay the 248 but that is their regular pricing for it. Uh, so Canadian dollars regular pricing uh, that averages out to just a hair over $320. It's an all white pen that has kind of a uh, a chatoyance shimmer in the material. Um, and then of course, gold trim. So you have a very basic kind of gold trimmer on the, the top there that holds in the clip, uh, which I think has pretty decent spring to it. 
Uh, you have two gold bands around the end of the cap, um, the thicker of which says Sailor Japan, founded in 1911. Um, coming down to the end here, you have another gold ring. Um, it's kind of like a, a cigar shape pen. Uh, screw top, so it screws to undo. Um, you have the grip section here that tapers out just a hair towards the end. It doesn't really stop your fingers from sliding or anything. It just, eh, I don't know. Um, the gold ring here kind of separates the grip section from the threads. It is kind of a small grip section, so your thumb uh, and your fingers will sit on the threads. At least my thumb sits on it pretty much the whole way. Um, but they're extraordinarily shallow, um, so they're definitely not going to be obnoxious. Um, there is a small step here, but I don't notice it when I hold it. Uh, my thumb, to be honest, hits the threads, but doesn't come up to the step. So uh, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Um, you unscrew the barrel and you have the Sailor proprietary cartridge uh, or con cartridge converter that I have in here. Um, you can buy these uh, separately, the um, converters rather. They come in a box like this. Um, you can find them like on eBay or um, Amazon for about four or five bucks. Otherwise, if you're gonna pay like local retailer price, uh, they usually have them about $11. Uh, screw that back down there. And then you have the nib. Now I heard a lot about Sailor nibs before I bought this. Um, this is a medium or a hard medium. Um, one thing I learned about Sailor that I did not know um, is that when you buy like a medium nib, you're buying a hard medium nib. Same fine, you're buying a hard fine, unless it says soft fine or soft medium. Um, so when it just says you're buying a medium nib, you are buying a hard medium nib. You will see in the writing sample, however, that just because it says HM, so hard medium, it's, it's not actually hard. And I'll explain a little bit more in detail in a bit. Um, 21 karat gold nib writes like a dream. Uh, again, I'm not gonna get too far into it, um, but I really like the design. It fits very comfortably in my hand. Um, it's a very light pen uh, because it is pretty much all uh, like resin. Um, so there's really nothing in it to add a lot of weight. If you compare it to the Platinum Century 3776, another Japanese pen, uh, they are pretty darn close in size. In fact, I would say they're almost spot on in size. So if you've ever held a Platinum 3776 and you enjoyed it, then you will pretty much like the uh, large version of the Sailor uh, 1911. The Sailor is technically a hair bit bigger when unposted, uh, but it's pretty much the same. And I would say the 1911 has a slightly larger grip section girth-wise. Um, the Platinum Century 3776 has a slightly longer grip section, uh, but they're pretty darn close in size. Um, and to be honest, they actually look pretty darn similar in design as well. Uh, this is one of my favorite fountain pens, so I definitely like this one. And before we jump into the writing section, uh, you can comfortably post this pen. It posts very securely. It does not make it back weighted. Um, and that's even for somebody like me who's sensitive to that. Uh, so definitely a great pen. I like it a lot. And I will show you a little bit more about it. Let's do it. Okay, so we have the Sailor 1911 large with a hard medium nib, 21 karat gold. The ink for today is Diatramentus Gold. Um, this is uh, the first time I've ever used this ink. It's a little bit light for me. It does dry a little bit darker than when it goes down, but I don't think I would actually buy it. I'm glad I just had the sample. Uh, but this nib, guys, writes like a dream. It is so smooth that it just glides along the paper. And it is nice and wet, which I absolutely adore. Um, I love wet pens 
for reverse writing. This is a poor ink choice to do that with, but you definitely can. It is ever so slightly scratchy. Um, I wouldn't even, you know what? No, I take that back. I'm not even going to say that it's scratchy when you reverse write. It's just you get more feedback. Uh, you get a lot of feedback, actually, when you reverse write. But when you write normally, you don't really get much. You get just enough to know that the nib is touching the paper. Uh, and that is about it. As far as line variation goes, despite saying it is a hard medium, it doesn't feel like a nail. It doesn't feel like a steel nib when you're writing. Uh, in fact, you can push it a little bit. Uh, I would be very interested to know what the, like a soft medium would be like um, in, in this nib, because if the hard medium can open up this much, like you can see here, then I would be very interested to know what the soft nibs feel like. Um, this is my first experience with Sailor and I'm very, very happy with it. Um, I've never had any issues at all with this pen and I'm super, super happy that I bought it. Um, and I do not think I would ever really sell this pen. Um, but guys, that's about it for me today before I lose my voice altogether. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you really like the video and haven't yet done so already, do hit that subscribe button. New videos come out every Monday and Friday and the occasional Q&A on Tuesday. Uh, feel free to leave any comments in the comment section below. Also feel free to answer them if you know the answer to uh, someone else's question. Uh, hit that thumbs up button and as always guys, I'll be seeing you next time. Bye.